In this video, we'll be testing Archicad's performance on the brand new M1 Ultra Mac Studio against a custom-built BIM machine. We're going to find out if the $6,000 plus price tag is worth it or if you can get away with spending just half of that. Before we begin, I want to make it clear that Archicad is still running on Rosetta 2 for the M1 architecture, which means it's not native to Apple's M1 architecture just yet. That also means that these results will improve by the end of 2022. So if you wanna see those results, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below to see the latest video at the end of this year. Today's testing will focus on four main factors, template load times, export times, render times, and general Archicad performance. I'm gonna be testing all of these four categories across two different sections, a small residential home and also a large commercial project. For me, it's large, for others, it might be considered medium. So hopefully, this video will provide you with enough value regardless of your situation. So first of all, we're gonna be starting with a basic template load time. This is a personal template I'm developing. It is relatively bare bones and basic. On a high-end BIM machine, it loaded in 25.7 seconds. Whilst on an M1 Ultra, it loaded in only 10.75 seconds, which means the M1 Ultra is 58.3% faster in load time for this specific category. If you have a much more powerful template that's intended for commercial use, well then on the PC, it loaded in 47.2 seconds, whilst on the brand new Mac Studio, it loaded in 20.31 seconds, making it 57.1% faster. Now you might be thinking this video is gonna continue that same trend. Well, I'm gonna jump ahead to PDF export times. Again, exporting two different projects, one large house, completely constructed, 16 to 20 pages, and one large commercial project that has a couple less pages, it's not fully completed. So what we found is both of the export times on both machines were relatively identical. Now, this is obviously because of the read-write speeds on the SSD. That means there is actually no difference in performance in read and write speeds, which is what would be expected in a typical test anyway. Now, this is where the M1 Ultra really, really impressed me. If you convert any of your projects to a wireframe and they're pretty heavy, intense projects, you're gonna see a million and one different lines. So once you actually rotate an orbit around, traditionally speaking, for me at least, on the PC, it has always taken a couple seconds to load. So when I turned the house into a wireframe, orbited around, it took about 3.75 seconds to refresh and actually generate the image I needed. For the apartments to do the same thing, it took 8.2 seconds. So every time I orbited around in a wireframe situation, it almost took 10 seconds of my time to simply sit there and wait. Meanwhile, the M1 Ultra absolutely obliterated it. There's no point showing you a time because there was no lag. You could literally rotate that full wireframe model on both the house and the apartment with zero second delay. If you think that's impressive, we took a 3D marquee from the floor plan and converted it into a wire frame sectional 3D. Now, both on the house and the apartment, this took a little bit of time. On the house, it took 4.54 seconds, and on the apartment, it took 7.81 seconds. Now, on the Mac Studio, it actually obliterated them again. The house took 2.38 seconds, making it 47% faster on a small project, or it took 2.23 seconds, making it 71.4% faster on a large project. If you add up all of these seconds consecutively throughout the day, that is a huge amount of productivity enhancement for simply going to a better machine. Now, last but not least is a simple render test. Taking any image from any of the projects, I took the house, put it on the front on elevation view and rendered an 800 by 600 pixel project. It is a very quick test. It is meant to be very minor. On the PC, it took 50 seconds, whereas on the Mac Studio, it took 24 seconds. And there you have it, the M1 Ultra Mac Studio. Twice as fast, twice the price, for now. My name's David Tomic and I'll see you next time.